Hey guys, it's Riley or Riles Thrifted over on Instagram and Poshmark and today I'm here with a Goodwill outlet haul. It's finally fall and I'm sitting outside so there's a little bit of wind but hopefully it's not too bad. I went to the bins a while ago, I don't really remember when, and this stuff has just been sitting waiting for me to haul it and I'm not hauling all of it in this video but I'm hauling half-ish, maybe. I'm assuming you know what the outlet is, but if you don't, it's where you go and dig through big blue bins of stuff, pull out what you want, and pay by the pound. I think I got like over 200 pounds of stuff this day. I paid about 60 cents per clothing item and a dollar 50 per pair of shoes. That's generally a little higher than what I pay for shoes, but I got a lot of boots, so it was just heavier, so it averaged out to a slightly higher amount. I have already filmed the pounds to Play-Dohs for this video. If you don't know what that is, it's where go the bins, buy stuff by the pound, and then sell to Play-Dohs for a profit. So that is my, is it like number five? The last pounds to Play-Dohs I filmed, that is the stuff that I got with the stuff I'm showing you today. I don't think I have much else to say, so let's just get into it. Okay, I'm gonna start out with some vintage items. I found a lot of vintage, and I actually do like selling vintage, so that was exciting. I found two vintage 80s prom dresses, but I don't have those in this bag of stuff, so hopefully those will be in another haul. Okay, first up, I got these vintage Wranglers boys pants, and they have this embroidered detail on both pockets. And I'm assuming these are from the 70s, but I'll have to do some research on them. Um, let's see, yeah. Here's a tag on the inside. Definitely old. Why can't I get this? That's what that tag looks like. I have no idea what these will sell for. I'm hoping for $20 on Poshmark. Yeah, I'm totally, these feel very <clears throat> 70s to me. I think that was the only like vintage kids item I got. And now I found like two bins. I hit two separate bins, some stuff like 80s, 90s, and some stuff like 60s, 70s. So in this, this is actually the second bin I hit full of vintage stuff. Um, these don't have any tags. I believe they're homemade, but they're definitely, please let me know what era you think this is. Um, I'm in the 60s, 70s guess. Here is a bright green skirt. So I do believe these are hand sewn, no tags. And here is its match. And this one has a belt, so the other one doesn't, but they're super cute. Yeah, oh, this one does have a tag. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so these are probably not homemade then. Well, yeah, they're not, there's a tag. This is the tag. That will definitely help me do some research. This looks like a more 80s tag to me, but these, pieces oh this is like a wrap skirt these definitely look 60s 70s probably 70s is what i'm thinking so those are in the same bin with i think the rest of the stuff i'm about to show you so some of this has stains and i'm not someone who stain treats things but i'm going to stain treat these just because i like them so much so this is a cloud print like 70s I don't know the fabric content shirt. Let's see, the tag is in here. Here's the tag. I don't know anything about that tag. I don't know if anything will come up. And I think there were stains on this one. Yeah, there are some stains on the clouds, but I will try to stain treat this. I don't think these actually sell for that much, but I couldn't leave them behind. And along with that, I do have this printed shirt and this one's apples. So here's the print on this shirt, this one does not have oh it does have a tag but nothing legible it's all gone so turtleneck like three-fourths sleeve i think and i don't think this one has any stains on it uh no it does they all have stains so i'll see if i can get any stains out if not i'll sell them as is and last printed shirt this one i threw back a few times and then grabbed again just because i don't stain treat items as i said so this where the stains are pretty oh yeah like right here there's like a pretty noticeable stain on the white but i could not leave this print behind oh my gosh it's just a button up and look at the collar this like needs to be ironed but that collar <laughs> so i don't think again these will sell for that much but i couldn't leave them behind and this is, I grabbed this because it's vintage and it's 70% lamb's wool, 20% angora, angora's rabbit. 
uh, wool, I think this is more 80s, definitely. Turtleneck dress. Ugh. And it does have a dry cleaning tag on it. And then let's see what this is. This has a tag and it's the same tag as the first cloud shirt I showed you. That vintage tag again. And this is a turtleneck brown long sleeve. This is like a pretty good fall piece. I need to get this stuff listed. A lot of it is very fallish. Um, I'm going to show you a few pairs of shoes and then we'll get back into more clothes. I promise not all the clothes are vintage. I just have some great vintage pieces. So uh, shoes this day are pretty good. Actually, when I was at the bins, I wasn't feeling too hot about my finds. I was like, this isn't my best bins day. But I get home, like I got home and I'm looking through all my stuff now. And I'm like, you know what? I had a pretty good day. Pretty good day. Okay, so these, I don't think, these were in a picked over bin, I want to say. I don't think anyone grabbed them because the logo, these were rubber banded like this and the logo is on the other side and no one even bothered to look so they're timberlands there's the logo and tall boots i expect these to do pretty well like 60 to 75 dollars i didn't check out comps but i've sold tim boots similar to this in the past so tim boots are definitely a good pick up seven and a half and there was a mark on the inside of this boot not a big or outside i guess not a huge deal I self vlog things all the time. I don't think that will bring down the value too much. So definitely one of my better shoe finds there. I tried to grab um, a lot of the boots that I grabbed to show you guys, just cause that's what I want to get listed right now. And the sandals can wait. These need some leather conditioning, but that's okay because I have Dark Martin Warner Balsa on and that's a miracle worker. These are born, I think, or are these born? What brand are you? Clarks, oh, these are Clarks, okay. Clarks kind of worn looking uh, leather boots and I do believe they are supposed to look worn in, but I will polish them up. And these I'm assuming will sell for like $40, $45. Clarks, I do like selling Clarks. Um, I probably would have paid like five to $7 for those at Goodwill. Okay, next pair of shoes are Steve Madden. I did find a few pair of Steve Madden shoes this day. Ugh. And they're little ankle booties with a chain detail. These will probably sell between $25 and $30. They're size nine. You probably don't need to see the logo. They're just gray suede. And there's a thread that needs to be cut out, but that's okay. I swear every single time I go to the bins, I find multiple pairs of Minnetonka, at least one. And so here's a pair of Minnetonka. These moccasin style, they don't do great for me, but I mean, I paid $1.50 and I know I can make a profit. The ones that do well for me are the taller ones with the fringe. And I've sold those in girls and women's. These I'm assuming I'll get between $15 and $20 for. They're actually in good shape though. Not all the ones I've picked up are in good shape. And then I grabbed these. Um, Goodwill had them priced at seven dollars. Ew, there's some gum on there. I'm gonna need to scrape off the bottom. But these are vintage, like '90s Y2K. No, I, I would say more Y2K candies boots, and they're like a camel color with a square toe, kind of like a square pointed toe. I don't know. I thought they would do good on Posh. If not, I can take them to Plato's because I think Plato's would grab these because they are a trendy style right now. But I am expecting twenty-five to thirty dollars for these on Posh. Let's do one more pair of shoes and then do a few more pairs of clothes. Where are my shoes? Okay, these, I've thrifted a few pair of these in the last month. I got a pair of Goodwill, a pair at Last Chance, and now a pair at the bins. So there are these Steve Madden loafers, exact same style, but different patterns in all the ones I found. Uh, I got a snake skin print, which I've already sold between 25 and 30. I can't remember exactly how much I sold them for. But these are in amazing condition, especially for being at the bins. Like they have been worn, but great shape. I'm expecting about $25 to $30. I'll probably price them in like $32 and then take an offer. Here is an item, not vintage. This is like, so here's the thing with the bins I go to. I do go out of state. I drive an hour there, an hour back. So two hours round trip. And I don't usually find very good clothes. Like I find mediocre clothes and good shoes. So. And good shoes as in like, I find decent shoes. Okay, 
So this is one good clothing item I found, although it's made well, extra large. Oh, I think, no, I don't think it's been shrunk. Super pilly, but it will be pretty easy to depel. I just use a razor and go over that. Honestly, these chunks pull right off though, so I could do that. But this was probably one of my better um, newer finds. Let's see where this is from, actually. I think it's wool too, or maybe, yeah, it's got some wool and some alpaca in it. There's not a style number in here. Dang it. Oh well, I don't know when it's from. But I'm expecting like, probably priced at like $34 and get between like $25 and $34 for that piece. And then this, okay, I know this would do very well on thread up, but I don't sell to thread up. I'm just like, I've, Oh, it's like new without tags too. Uh, this would be very good on thread up. I'm kind of spread thin right now though, so I don't want to start thread up. But it's just BCBG Max Azria, and it's still got the tabby thing on it. And tag tab. It's a dress, and I know this would probably sell for like over $100 on thread up, and it's going to sell for like $25 on Poshmark. But I don't, I don't want to start thread up right now. I just, I don't have the time. So this will be going on Poshmark. Not expecting a lot, but I wasn't gonna leave it behind. Okay, then I grabbed this scarf. Um, I don't know the brand. It's good for the season. And let's see. Oh, that's, I might leave this on. Okay, here's, let me know. I haven't looked up, I didn't look up the brand. Uh, I just knew it would be worth it because it's lamb's wool even if I sell it for 20 bucks. Here's the tag though. Okay, it says Mackenzie, which I'm kind of wondering if that's personalized. Oh, you know what, this even pulls off. So I might, this thing that says Mackenzie might just get pulled off. Um, I'm just babbling. So it's from Blarney Wool and Mills. And maybe while I'm editing, I'll throw up a picture of the retail value. There's the tag. But just because it was lamb's wool and it's like, I know that it will sell this winter, knock on wood. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I really liked the colors and I couldn't leave it. It's like a baby knit blanket. And I kinda wanna keep it, but it's so small that I don't have anywhere to put it. Like, I don't know what I'd use it for. It's definitely a baby blanket. So I think I might just throw it up on Poshmark, pastel rainbow baby blanket and sell it for like $15 maybe. I couldn't leave it, it's in good condition and it's so cute and I wish that it was bigger because if it was bigger I would keep it for myself. Let's see what this is. This is a tie from Brooks Brothers. I know ties don't do very well. I don't know if I've actually ever sold a tie, but it's all silk and I just grabbed it and maybe I'll, I didn't find any other good ones. I'll probably just sell this for like $8 or something. It's kind of ugly in my opinion, okay. This is T Collection, which is an expensive kids line. I don't know where it sold. It might be sold at Nordstrom. There's the tag. Certain prints from this brand do really well. I've had a lemon print dress that I've sold twice and both times it sold very fast. So this is a girl's dress and I considered taking this to Once Upon a Child, but obviously I didn't. Actually, no, I haven't gone since I went to this haul. I'm not going to though. I'll sell it. It will probably sell for like $10. Fine with me. These are pink size small and uh, I could take these to Plato's Closet but I think they'll sell for between 10 and $15 pretty fast on Poshmark because first of all I got the pink logo band and also they're in good shape and they're just kind of like they're less workout legging and more like pajama. Next this is a Madewell bralette and Madewell bralettes actually sell very well. I've never sold this style before. Actually that's if you're gonna pay more than three, two dollars for a Madewell Bralla. I'd look up the style because there is one style that does really bad that I have sold a few times and been stuck with. I've never sold this style, but I can imagine this one would do well. It's like Hensley, little butt in front. But Madewell Bralettes, most of them do very well and will sell fast for like $16. Like I'd say like 15 to $18 range for Madewell Bralettes. So, extra small. I have a feeling that will sell fast. Let's see what you are. Okay, this is J. Crew Factory. And it's just checkered with a little bow tie on the bottom. It's from summer 2018, so not that old. 
this isn't gonna sell for a lot um maybe fifteen dollars maybe hopefully in a bundle i like to get bins items in bundles so then my costs are down okay i'm trying to show you a few items that aren't vintage okay these are page jeans i don't even remember grabbing these uh let's see these are the verto ultra skinny page newer tag and these will probably they're distressed they've not in bad shape no puckering um i seriously don't remember grabbing these at all these will probably sell for 25 dollars hopefully okay let's get back to some shoes these are ll bean i believe yes these are like vintage ll bean duck boots duck boots do well especially sperry duck boots do well classic like old ll bean these are not the classic ll bean style of duck boot they're a little more feminine with that curve and these are vintage ones i'll have to look up to see how these do look at that vintage tag these are super cute i kind of want to like they're <laughs> they're too small they're too big for me and too small for my mom and my sister so they will be getting sold they definitely need some leather conditioning but hopefully 30 to 40 dollars on these then we got some clarks um again i like selling clarks these are more of a classic comfort style career wear i always put business casual and career wear in my description for shoes like this or clothing like blazers that can fit that category these will sell hopefully for 25 dollars Although the bummer is with people not going into the office, they still, if they're getting dressed up, need like tops, like blazers or fancy shirts or maybe even a dress, but bottoms and shoes that you don't need working from home. Uh, okay, what are you? I don't remember. Oh, these are Nine West and Nine West. Okay, these have $62.99 on them. And I don't think that was good. I don't know who's trying to sell these for $62.99. Um, Nine West, not my favorite brand to sell, but fall and like I only pick this, I only pick up Nine West at the bins. I would not have picked these up at Goodwill, but I think they might be able to get $30 for them. Oh, there's a puppy. I love puppies. So I think I might be able to get $30 for them in the right season, which is now, if I get them listed. They're size seven and a half. Next. These are exciting. I always love finding Sorrells. And these are just a very classic style Sorrell. I think they're my men's, which I'm fine selling men's. So they're US size nine. These look more like men's. Let's see what's UK five Euro 30. Oh, US size six. Yeah, these are definitely a men's because I wear a six. Wait, what the heck? Six. Yeah, these are not my size. Men's size six? I don't know any man who has, this is such a strange, this does not look, is this a small one? What's a... Is this like a woman's eight then? If it's a men's six, is it a woman's eight? I might list it as a woman's eight and men's six because they're pretty unisex, so. These were an exciting find. They do have a little bit of wear, but nothing major. These will probably sell for like $45. I've sold these before and I think they sold for 25 or $30. They're Dr. Scholl's, that's how you say the brand, right? There's the brand. <clears throat> and I picked them up not based on brand but on style the first time. But I would pick up Dr. Scholl's whoops for good that are cute at the bins. Um here they are. These are tiny size. I think they're five. What are you? Oh, they're six. Um uh, I always picking up size unless it's like a five is where I kind of like maybe I won't pick this up if I'm paying up for it but I pick up pretty much all sizes of the shoes, especially at the bins. These, again, especially since they're calf hair in Cheetah and it's fall, I'm hoping these will sell for $25 to $30. Then, I was like uh, going back and forth on getting these because in the lighting at the bins, they did not look like they were in good shape, but actually looking at them now, in <laughs> darker lighting now, um, they're in pretty good shape. There's just a little bit of wear to the heel. But these are Tom's wedge boots, and I haven't sold a pair of these. Oh, there's a cardinal. Oh, there's, well, I think our girl cardinal's not red. Because there's a, a bird that looks like the cardinal next to it, the red one, but it's not red. And so I'm assuming that girl cardinals aren't red now. I'll look it up and let you know. Um, What are they saying about these? I haven't sold Tom's wedges in a while. They used to do okay, but I don't think they're super trendy style. 
but I was gonna leave them behind at the bins. I'll probably get $20, $25 for these. They're in much better shape than I originally thought they were, so I am glad I grabbed them. I only have three pairs of shoes left to show you, so I'm just gonna finish up with these and then we'll get on with clothes. Um, I did get, as I said earlier, I do have like another half of this haul, but I don't know if I'm gonna film it today or if I'm gonna film something else. So these I actually grabbed to take to Plato's Closet because I didn't see a brand while I was at the bins, but they're actually mix six. Can you see that? This is sold at DSW and I think they're they're a good style, just white ankle booty. And so I'm gonna list these. They'll probably sell for like 20, I'll list them at 25. They'll probably sell for about $20. And they were in like immaculate condition, but now, after being in the bag with other shoes, they got some scuffs on them, but a magic eraser should clean that up pretty easily. Oh my gosh, my leg is just, my poor leg is falling asleep. Okay. Second to last pair of shoes for the day. These are vintage 90s. Dina and Ozzy. Tag doesn't matter. I picked these up based on style. These are, oh my gosh, these would be great witch shoes. I should get these listed ASAP for Halloween. Uh, yeah, so pick these up based on style. 90s, so keywords I think I'm gonna use now that I'm thinking about it, is definitely uh, witch, goth, 90s. <laughs> Let me know if you have any other keywords for me to use. I think these will sell for like $35. And the last pair of shoes I have to show you today are these Allegria's. That's funny, I didn't even un band them to look at them and check to make sure they were in good shape. Uh, I'm not the best bin shopper. So there's Allegria. These will probably sell for $30, $35. Uh, they're a comfort shoe brand, and um, I've only sold them once before, I think. So I'm glad I found these at the bins. They're a sandal, obviously, so they might not sell right away. But I'm going to get them listed eventually. Still glad I found them. I think I'm gonna finish up showing you guys the vintage and then we'll go back into like modern clothes. So this is just a vintage 80s dress I picked up uh, because I was picking up all the other vintage stuff. I don't think there's a tag in here. Wait, hold on, how do I do this? Yeah, I don't see a tag in here, but it's butterfly print, if you can tell. And oh, it definitely has that musty vintage smell. Square neckline got these button details and I think it's a midi and I'd say this probably fits like a large oh it's tiered with buttons yeah I think I could probably get $35 for this and no size but I'm assuming this fits a large extra large no I'd say mm, um, I mean obviously I'm gonna include measurements but I right now I can say I think it's a large okay this I don't know why I grabbed I probably should have thrown this back Maybe I shouldn't have though, I don't know. It's a Disney golf collection, vintage, probably 2000s, um, Winnie the Pooh, golfing, embroidered. This won't sell for much. I'm hoping between 15 and $20. For some reason, I couldn't leave it. Okay, another 80s piece. In 80s is not my favorite decade of clothing, so oftentimes I do leave it behind. But I did grab a few special pieces. This is, here's the tag for this one. Again, tags don't always matter for vintage. I'd say in fact, they don't usually matter, but I'm sure there are some tags you wanna be looking out. Union tags are good to know. Um, so this is a jumpsuit, floral jumpsuit. Got shoulder pads in it. And again, I'll probably, hope to sell it for 35 so it will be priced most likely a little bit higher it's got a button up front and um kind of out of season for this piece well the fall colors are good but short sleeve this is in season and i need to get it listed okay so i didn't look up this specific brand but it's like one of those ireland knit sweaters here is the tag and these can be very good so if anything i think the least I'll get for this is $35 and it's an extra large I don't know if that's men's or women's I don't see a fabric content tag but I'm 90% sure this is wool so I didn't look up the brand as I said hoping to at least get $35 for this stuff is starting to pile up okay finishing off with the vintage this 
Um, it's funny because this doesn't look vintage to me, but it is. Uh, it's just an open neck that you can tie, black short sleeve shirt. I don't know. Okay, I did look up the tag just to make sure it was vintage. Here is the tag. Is it is vintage? I don't remember what decade this tag is from though. I think maybe the seventies. I hate the fabric; it's giving me goosebumps. <sighs> Two more pieces. Uh, I loved this. I kind of dropped the ball on the season for this one. This would have been a great summer moo moo. Here's the tag. I'm assuming this is eighties. Rainbow moo moo. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Again, I would say this is probably a large. Oh, I really wish I got this listed over the summer. I think it will still sell pretty fast. Um, I'm again, I'm hoping for about $35 on this piece. And probably one of my best vintage finds this day. It's not buttoned up. Let me do a top button at least. This is a vintage Diane Von Furstenberg, like 80s red jumpsuit. And it buttons up the front. I only did the top button. And I was so happy to find this. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I need to sell this. Um, it's kind of hideous, but also awesome. Here's the tag. It's a size medium. I would say it's uh, probably a little bit bigger though. There's the vintage Diane von Furstenberg tag. And uh, I have no idea how much this will sell for. I don't know if vintage pieces do better. I don't know if this is gonna make it do worse. I'm hoping minimum $35. It smells super vintage, like it was in someone's garage. And I think that's all for the vintage pieces I have pulled out for this haul. Uh, I only have a few pieces left to finish up showing you. I have some purses that I'll just show you really quick. Okay, this is A New Day, I think by Target. Oh, let's see, there's a good little price tag. Oh, it, just kidding, it fell off, okay. Yeah, this is A New Day by Target, which normally I take this to Plato's Closet, but I liked the color and it's crossbody, faux leather green. I think this will be a good fall purse and I hope to get between 12 and like $18. I doubt 18, like let's say it'll sell between like 12 and $15, which I'm okay with for how much I paid. It'll be a small profit. Maybe it will sell in a bundle. I am excited for this purse. I don't usually, I get bored going through the purses so I just kind of like scan them. This was $7 at Goodwill. It is an Aldo purse, not my favorite brand but it's Sherpa lined and totes. Like faux, is it, it might be real leather, I don't know. Sherpa lined tote, so it has a Sherpa twin trim. I don't know how much this will sell for. I'm hoping 25, 20, $25 on this, but I'm not a big purse seller and I'm not a big purse looker through where I get pretty bored with purses. I like shoes. Okay, these are men's. Um, Ludlow Classic J Crew pants and I think that I'm probably gonna be sitting on these for a while but I don't mind selling men's clothes and sometimes I'm surprised by men's clothes and they sell fast fabric from Italy let's see when these are from though 100% wool so yeah there's a lot of reasons they're from 2013 but I don't know do men's style really change that much in like dress pants they look short so yeah I think I might be sitting on these for a while but there were a few different reasons for me to pick them up so I just grabbed them and if worse comes to worse I'll just redonate them American Eagle jeans, skinny kick, size four. And there's a date tag in here. They're from 2016. But I have a feeling, is this skinny kick? Are these, I think these are uh, supposed to be like bootleg jeans. But this, since it's a skinny kick, maybe it's a smaller boot. I don't know. I've heard that the kick, what are they called? There's a pair of American Eagle jeans that are boot cut, like the kick boot or something that do well. So I don't know if these are them, but we'll try them out and hopefully they'll sell for like $18. Then I grabbed this thinking I would take it to Plato's Closet, but it's Uniqlo. There's the tag for Uniqlo. If you didn't know, that's a fast fashion brand. Um, I don't know if they have stores in the US at least, uh, or if they're just online. It's super soft, but it doesn't have like any fancy fabric in it. So I was gonna take this to Plato's, but I kind of liked the style and it's fall and it's soft and i like the color so i'll just sell it for maybe 15 to 20 dollars okay then i grabbed this victoria's secret pink hoodie i don't really like selling this kind of stuff but it will sell for like i'd be fine with 15 dollars. it's a little pilly i might take this time to sweater shave at i'm not exactly sure size medium yeah hopefully 15 dollars on that and the last item i have to show you today is kind of unclimatic unclimatic 
anticlimactic. They're a pair of men's Lucky Brand jeans. So when I was at the bins, I was grabbing men's jeans to take to Plato's Closet. And if you saw that video, they didn't take any of them, which surprised me. But I haven't taken them back yet. And I think the second time I will take them. They will take them. Anyway, I think I grabbed these to take to Plato's Closet. And then I just decided to sell them myself because it looked like men's Lucky Brand jeans can do okay. And here they are. And I doubt I'll get more than like $25 for them. Does it even have a style in here? Yes, 181 relaxed straight tag so that was the last item of this haul thank you guys so much for watching this bins haul i really hope you enjoyed it if you like bins hauls let me know because i always have more to film and let me know any other type of content you'd like to see from me because i'm always looking for new video ideas or if you like videos that i film consistently just let me know and i'll keep making them that is all for today bye guys